Welcome to FLIR Primed, I'm Grant Coffey. Since sea burn gases can incapacitate or kill first responders, the use of a gas monitor can be a vital and important safety tool. Many responders use a basic foregas monitor like one of these on everyday calls. There are many types of monitors and each has a specific range for specific chemicals. There's not one magic monitor that will identify all gases. Part of the problem is a negative reading doesn't let you off the hook. You have to remember, what is this not identifying? The user must also be very familiar with the monitor, must calibrate it regularly, must clean it regularly and maintain it, and also it helps, just like a checklist, we have a mini version of a checklist in the field for the user to pull that out if they have an issue while they're using the monitor at an event. You need to turn on your monitor before you enter the hazard zone. And it also helps to know the characteristic of the Seaburn agent that you're looking for. If you know the family characteristics, this affects your use of the monitor. With gas monitoring, it's critically important to use your best tool, which is your brain. This monitor is only going to tell you what it's programmed to tell you. That means you have to put this monitor where the gas is. You have to monitor high, you have to monitor low. So let's look at what propane looks like, which is one and a half times heavier than air. Notice the monitor only alerted when I put it where the gas was. That was on the floor. You need to put the monitor where the gas is, then come out, read it, figure out what's going on. If you have a gas that's lighter than air, you'd monitor higher. If you have a gas that's heavier, you'd monitor near the floor. What you're looking for is the explosive range of that gas, which is the danger point, and the monitor will tell you that. When your monitor alarms, exit the scene while looking at your monitor, and when out of the hazard zone, determine what the monitor reading is telling you. Since the dawn of time, gases have affected both man and machine. Getting a good reading quickly is crucial to the safety of you, your team, and the public. Thanks for watching, and be sure to keep coming back to flare.com for future episodes of Flare Prime.